Okay, folks, I'm just on a journey. Gonna go look at a couple of lighthouses if successful. Now, I've been looking online a bit and I'm not sure if they're all accessible anymore because apparently they're temporarily closed. Uh, one, they're having some issue because a property owner doesn't want anyone to go in there or the probably more like the property management, whoever that is, but we're gonna go check it out. So just a little check in and uh, I'll get uh, back when there's a little bit more action happening here. So it should be an interesting drive. I found a, what appears to be a trail right along, uh, I guess you would consider it the North Shore of Lake Ontario. And there's a little bit of wind today and it's coming from the south uh, southwest. And even though I don't think it's too, too windy, but I, I bet there's going to be some good wave action. But I guess we'll find out shortly. Okay, I'll sign up for a bit and we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. GoPro, stop recording. Stop recording. GoPro, power off. Okay, I just thought I'd take a just a quick stop here, show you some signs here where we're at. Um, I was just in Westlake, so um, there's Salmon Point. We're heading down that road. I think it's the road's even called uh, Salmon Road or something. And hopefully that will get us to the uh, lighthouse. So that's not too far. And what do we have? Oh, just more signs over there. Um, yeah, looks like it gets some maple syrup uh, four kilometers uh, down the road, but um, there you have it. So I'm just going to proceed and uh, away we can go. Just waiting for the cars here. And we're off. So what's coming up here, you'll be able to see some water, I think. Now this is not Lake Ontario, but it's, um, they're kind of like, uh, kind of like inlets, not, but not really. They don't really have access to Lake Ontario. Uh, the one coming up on the right, if it's going to be visible, I'm not sure. Um, that one might, the one on the left is just sort of its own lake, but it's very, very close to Lake Ontario. I had to turn the camera back on shortly after I just turned it off there. Um, so it says we're only about two kilometers from that lighthouse. And this is a, there's a no exit thing here. Um, oh, here's a nice little sign. I don't know what this is. 20 Isle Camp Park. Interesting. wave to those folks there. I don't know where this person's going. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was about. A <laughs> little weaving around the road. Honestly, I think I'm going to start beeping my horn at people like a little ways back. I noticed on the trails when I was driving too. I don't think I was recording. There are quite a few uh, people on bikes, like pedal bikes and that. I could drive right up behind them. Um, I mean, with the XT, if you're not, you know, hitting the throttle hard, it's a pretty quiet bike. It just purrs. So yeah, you can sneak up on people. I've done it many, many times. And then, uh, and then they, they, you know, when you're riding a bicycle, you're not really looking behind you normally. Like most people don't. Uh, most people don't have mirrors on the bike and and then but if they happen to hear something or if they then they look and they're out they get all startled hey? so it's kind of funny but anyways if you're in Canada and you don't know the speed limit out on these roads um, if they're not posted I'm just gonna say that uh, driving kilometers an hour anyways is 70 70 will be safe worried about getting a ticket or whatever. Oh, there's uh, some Lake Ontario there. So 
fucking nice. Um, yeah, because normally it's either going to be 60 or 80. So if you drive 70, eh, I don't think you're going to get pulled over. So I don't know, it says this lighthouse is right up here, but uh, I guess we'll find out. And I'm glad I'm wearing a visor. I don't know if there's uh, insects, you can't see them on camera, but they're all over the place. Yeah, you see, they have it all. You can't even go in there, so. So I'm gonna have to get my drone out uh, sometime. I have one of those bigger drones, and I just don't like carrying it on the motorcycle, so. I'm going to have to buy something else. But anyways, there you can see uh, Lake Ontario. I'm going to another location. And, okay, so uh, the drive up here was pretty nice. Uh, so this is the Salmon Point Lighthouse. Unfortunately, everything is private property. They won't let anyone go in there and look at anything. And from what I understand, there's some land dispute stuff going on. Uh, I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, the drive was nice. And you do get a little bit of a view of Lake Ontario there. But uh, yeah, so this lighthouse is a good site. It's called lighthousefriends.com. If just look up this lighthouse, and uh, there's a whole bunch of cool information on it. It was built in 1871, and so it has a pretty uh, interesting history uh, about things going on back in the okay, day. Okay, so I just turned uh, on to this. Probably not uh, much here, different Kings than today, Road. but anyways, uh, let's get to the so next is, uh, uh, lighthouse here. I think I saw a sign. It's a seasonal road, so they don't probably do much maintenance or they may not even clear the snow on here I'm not sure so let's see a little zip left and right no exit that way we'll have to check that out later I have a feeling that might go right to the lake or something okay I have a little bit of an audio issue again with my microphone but okay, it gets so cleared up is, right uh, away but anyways I'm close to the lighthouse and I was trying to uh, get into a road that would go along the shore of Lake Ontario so this is my um, first attempt so that's just a little ways up there but I'm going to try to do this cutting down this path as long as there's not a bunch of water or someone's house something. it's a nice little interesting road so uh, enjoy and if you can hear some of the audio that I'm talking when I'm talking, that's fine. If not, oh well. I'll keep it short here, and then we're gonna go back up uh, and get to the actual lighthouse. So, coming up right away. But this is a, a cool little road, so enjoy. Yeah, this is going to be too bumpy, um, but what we can do is there's a path that goes all the way along the lake. It's just that I think it's just going to be a little bit too much. Okay, here we are we're rolling up on this uh, point petri lighthouse now the one that you're looking at here well again they have it closed off um i believe though normally you can gain access to this one but you know it's that uh whatever's going on things are temporarily closed as they like to say so anyways uh this one that you're looking at was built in 1967 and um i guess it's still operating and the original one though it was built in 1932 i believe it was for uh all in i think it was around maybe 1200 bucks back then to build that that might have been quite a bit of money back then i'm not sure but anyways uh again there's a whole bunch of interesting history on this if you go to that lighthousefriends.com 
Um, otherwise, I mean, the video would itself would have to be about, you know, 10 minutes long to explain uh, the history behind this lighthouse. But I don't know. I find it kind of interesting. I'm not super big into lighthouse stuff, but I know some people are. But yet, I can still appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, let's get back here, and uh, we will make it to the shore. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, had a little break here. Been trying to think what I'm gonna do here. There's a road just to the left that's not too far to get to the lake, but some pretty deep water there. But I think the bottom is good. Like, I don't think it's, I think it's packed. Um, but there's a little road just uh, behind me here, a little ways, and I'm gonna try that one first. So let's head over there. But we'll go check this out. Howdy. Hi, how you doing? Good. Uh, how wet is it down there? Wet. Is it? It's wet everywhere out here. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere. No, I just wanted to get to the shore to just check out the water there, yeah. but... Okay, so probably your best bet would be your first turn on your left down here. Yep. It probably won't be too bad. All right. You have to go around the puddles, but the puddles are only that deep. Okay, and is, is it muck muck or is it more... No, no just... Okay. Okay. Yep. And how's that road just straight ahead? Not good. No? No. Hmm. Yeah. So your first left, it'll probably take you right down the shoreline. Oh, I'll we'll give it a try. All right. Thank you. No problem. Try the grass. All right. Uh, I guess just go straight. Or to the right here. Well, it's a little bit greasy. Oh, here we go. I like the looks of that. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping for a rocky, uh, more of a rocky area. Hmm. Well, let me try back.
person could get lost in here. Well, I think I might just have to stop here and we can check out the water. Oh, and you don't want to fall down there. Well, let's go see what we can do here. Hopefully my camera's on. Better make sure it's still recording. Yep. Oh, I see. I could probably go around this corner. Go up a ways. But this looks neat. This looks good. Huh. Yeah, I would have thought the waves would have been a little bit bigger. Lots of loose rock. I'll hang on to this. There we go. All right. It's a lot of sedimentary rock here, that's for sure. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, you know, at one time the water must have been, uh, you know, much, much higher, but uh, apparently, uh, we're at risk of flooding the planet. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what do I know, though? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Look over here. Oh, there's some people way down there. Probably can't see them on the camera. I might be able to zoom. But I'd like to be here with someone else though. Uh, just for backup, you know. But yeah, oh, so that's cool. I made her. So I have another road to uh, check out. And hey, there's a. Uh, hopefully the camera can catch it. It's not looking too low or anything. There's a ship out there. Look at that. Let's see if I can uh, block the sun on there. I think that's a ship. Looks like it's moving. And the reason they put a lighthouse out here is because this you see how this rock is here? It extends like this way, way out. And it's very it's not very deep. You know, well, for a ship, it's not. Uh, you know, for your motorboat, it'd probably be fine. But, yeah, there's a bunch of reefs, I guess, or whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. That must be a ship out there. I don't know. I'll have to check. It doesn't really look like an island. Okay. Uh, I'll make my way back up here. So, yeah. That was cool. It's always easier uh, going down than coming up. For me, anyway. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> but... Uh, Yeah. All right. 
All right, very nice. Yeah, I could probably make it down there. I'm going to wait uh, until sometime when it hasn't rained so much. And we've had a lot of rain uh, past while. But you know this is going to be a rock base. I mean, that's just rock. There's, there's some dirt here, but that's why this water isn't draining. It's just sitting on rock. Let's get, let's get the bike out of here. All right, this should do me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okie dokie. This mud is slippery though. Like I know there's rock under here some, but it is slippery when it's, it's slippery when it's wet. Oh, just a sec, I have to close my visor. since I was getting tree branches in my face last time. <laughs> it's so slippery. Even though there's not much of a ledge, I can't even get the bike to go up. Whoa, whoa. Let's see the back end won't come up now. Oh gosh. Nope. Huh. Okay, I guess I'd go back on. Yeah, so that's how slippery it is. I'm gonna stop recording. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, put a comment down below, and uh, most importantly, have a great day. Thanks for watching again, and cheers.